Hey everyone, Kitaro here, and my co-host Lucia. Good evening. Um, we know this episode lacks a lot of context, just full disclosure. Th um, this episode has been filmed months after many of our other podcast episodes have been recorded, but we're still working on getting those out, and we needed this episode out first, obviously, because Kaginato's airing soon. Kaginato is going to be amazing. So yes, you guys are getting these slightly out of order. Um, a lot out of order. Consider this a pilot episode, um, where <laughs> this is us that are probably most experienced with the podcast. It's the most recent episode we filmed, and you'll get a lot of the other podcast episodes very soon. Um, tune into the State of the Keyverse, um coming at the end of the month and honestly just I, I hope you enjoy the episode it's unhinged we were joking around a lot it's funny it was supposed to be a shorter episode but it ended up being an hour long we promise it'll be shorter later but um we really do hope <laughs> tends to happen with us we really do but we really do hope you enjoy <laughs> like <laughs> yes enjoy and we hope y'all enjoy kaginato as well since it's going to be amazing so yeah here's episode one of uh, the kaginato episode Let's go. All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Key Radio Live Chibi Edition. Chibi I.e. Edition. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it's like a radio. Hello, and welcome to Key Radio Live Chibi Edition. Chibi Edition? <laughs> yeah, Chibi Edition. This time, Key Radio's going small with bite sized episodes just for you. Uh, I, I take big bites. So, yeah, that's. That, that's not going to work. <laughs> uh, yes, we have a wonderful episode planned today. For those who don't know, these episodes will be short form episodes in honor of Kagi Nado, the crossover series that is gracing us with its presence I am on October so 12th. It's not delayed. I was wrong, Zoe, and I'm so happy. I am so happy that I was... Yeah, no. Yeah, I, we were I was both so wrong. Happy. We were both like, yeah, it's definitely going to get delayed. We literally said this in the last hype episode. We're like, yeah, Kaginato is definitely delayed. Nope. It's here. It's coming. Oh, yeah. That's that's the Sayuri face on Kano. And honestly, um, it, it's kind of a vibe. I like it. I like it. Okay, Angelon, I need to ask why Key named a cat Hitler. I need answers. I don't know. Little Busters is weird. Ask Kyosuke whenever we go meet him in heaven. I don't know. Oh. You went there. Ouch. Um, we, we all just went... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Kyosuke, World War II history geek. Yo, is that a Blitzkrieg tank? Oh my totally god, my no, vibe. no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Kyosuke would actually okay no but you say no but here's the thing Kyosuke would 100% be the person to get really passionate over World War II tanks like 100 like he would pick that thing to be passionate about that no one else is and goes this is cool I'm gonna know everything about it <laughs> Like, I could just, I could see it now, him, like, creating this long, massive speech about, like, how wondrous the me the mechanisms are in these machines, and everyone in Little Buster's going, dude, my, my guy, this is a school. <laughs> that would be amazing. Uh, tell me I'm tell me that's out of character. <laughs> like, I, I, I wouldn't put anything past Kyosuke, which is why, like, okay, to bring us back to Kaginato, all of the Little Buster's guys are going to be in it, and which means we might finally get to see, our, like, crossover ships, since, you know, we actually, Little Buster's is the 
series with the best guys. I'm just saying. So. Uh, yeah. I mean. Let Let's get some crossover ships here. <laughs> please, I want. Um. Yeah. No, I want a crossover ship. So honestly, to to just get j- straight into it, today we got a lot of information. The day that we're filming this, by the way. Um. Uh, the twenty fourth of September. Do you remember? Three days past the night oh, of no, September. No, 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 no. <laughs> I I am unhinged today. <laughs> Same. That's okay. Ham, get the heck out. No. Nah. Make me. Make me. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens with Chibi episodes. We just channel the chaotic energy it's, from Kaginato. It's bi- yeah, the chaotic energy from Kaginato, and it's basically like the B-side episodes, but slightly more on topic. So... Oh my word! The fact that Haruka's gonna have something to do with mustard gas is gonna make me wheeze okay. laughing. Okay. Did did you like actually look at the Japanese though? Because it's mustard. It, it is, is mustard some sort gas. of gas. It is some sort of gas, and I'm like, oh god, this is gonna be funny. This is gonna be so ridiculous. So basically, we should talk about like the actual info we got today that we're gonna be talking about. Like yeah. we um we basically got character descriptions for for all of the characters that are going to be in it and confirmation of the works that are going to be included. A final air day. Final um, air day. I, uh, um, we don't have an episode count, which means it could go as long as it wants to, which is kind of encouraging. Yeah. It'll be streaming on Crunchyroll, Funimation, High Dive, Wakanim, Annie Plus, Billy. Uh, beardy beardy in news so there will be places to see it like yeah and just in japan it's on a lot of major new um a lot of major tv stations tokyo mx kbs um a bunch of other stations i don't know but yeah no it's kind of wild that's amazing oh and it's gonna be on prime video dmm fod gyo music.jp you next abema pretty much a lot of stuff nico nico am i reading that right is that nico nico <laughs> I'm huh? excited, honestly. Like that—that that would it, be. It. <laughs> in China, it's going to be on Beauty Beauty, um, Taiwan Mobile, uh, Yahoo Taiwan. Oh no, this is the Taiwan. I just misread the characters. <laughs> yeah. So I'm I'm really excited. Um. So yeah, we got the final air date. We got some info about the like plot. You made me is the narrator. It's the weirdest thing, but it's so fitting too. Like. I could imagine going like you made me going, welcome to the world of key, the wonderful bridge between all of our pain and suffering. Please join me as I recount the funny moments that we have experienced before you re-experience all of key's sad moments all over again. But this time they are really cute chibis. Oh, but do, do, do we have do we have to do the sad moments in Kaginato? I'm pretty sure they confirmed that we are going to see the some of the sad moments from Key, like the iconic scenes in Chibi form. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Oh I think yeah, because we... in the very first trailer, we see that one from. I'll just say goal. Everyone will know what it is. Goal. Oh, that wasn't even the goal. one I was talking about. I was talking about the one with the backpack in canon, but that the goal yeah. too. Yeah, we're going to see some of the sad... We're going to see some of the sad scenes. Yeah. Can't wait to see all my favorite characters die in chibi form. Ferb is coming in with the best takes. I love the fact that of everyone... I love the fact that everyone here in the server... So for those who don't know, everyone's Kaginato profile pictures right now in the server. Yep. Minus me, I'm a, I'm a gato right now. <laughs> and uh, and or, and a few others. But like, Furbis of all the chibi ones, has shiori just zoomed in zoomed in on her face it's pretty great like, anytime i imagine it now i just imagine furbis talking like hello <laughs> mine is is lucia with the exclamation point from metal gear solid basically since platy and i match profile pictures we'll need to pick kaginato ones to uh, match with because <laughs> we must yes we must rep the chibis um all right, so for those who want to, so a lot of news, honestly. So we get a list of works that are being represented: Canon, Air, Planet, Little Busters, and Rewrite. The full, and the first Planetarium. five main keyword. Well, we thing is, we don't get chibis of those, so I don't know if they'll appear in the shorts or if you maybe just the narrate the narrator. I think we do. Either way, I think we do. Uh, oh, she has a chibi on the poster. Then we're good. Yeah. So. All right. So pretty much. 
the the first five main key works plus planetary yes that is really exciting because we have confirmation that the protagonists are going to be here all the main heroines and some of the side heroines so because we've seen saya in the pro, pro the pro, um, the preview that we got yep the chibi art style is absolutely adorable i like cannot get over how cute it is and the character descriptions are absolutely insane, like unhinged. We were Hard reading cause... Google translated versions of them this morning, which are just really bad, but they are really funny. My favorite thing is the fact that the one where it's like, uh, so the, the Rio one is the most iconic. She was always proud of the fact that she had a bigger chest than Kyo. Also, she is not unloyal. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> The, it is like it's so funny. Here's the problem, though, Keith, and and this is something that is going to be talked about quite a bit. They're chibis. None of them have big chests. It's funny, though. You know, it's true, though. Like, shh. <laughs> yeah, it's it, it, it. Honestly, I'm cannot wait to see the chaotic scenarios because, regardless of whether or not we're gonna get pain, this is a very comedy centric show. So I'm really curious what they're going to do with these five minute skits, because here's the thing, you know, they're going to do it where each skit is its own isolated joke, which will be really exciting. Yes. I, oh my word. So imagine if what they do is they have, <laughs> imagine if they... this is going to sound horrible, oh, <laughs> the iconic key scenes, but then they get messed up by comedy. <laughs> oh yeah. I, you know, Okay. They Every get messed up funny. by, like, other characters interrupting them. Oh my word, imagine Kuragaya in the goal scene. That's what I was thinking about, <laughs> like, stuff like that. Or, or Kyosuke in the, in the scene with the, with the backpack and the tree stump and cannon. Oh my word, imagine Kyosuke hopping right in the middle of Ayu's speech and going, like... This is moving my heart. Yes, that's yes. So much. <laughs> and just killing the moment. I want this so bad. Give it to us. Yes, King. please. Give it to oh my us. gosh. Cuz okay, here's the thing. You know, there there's like <laughs> there's a whole idea that we need to, you know, treat the serious moments in key seriously, but the thing is the newest work we're seeing here is rewrite which turns which had turned 10 earlier this year the statute of limitations on those kind of things i think it's up i think we can oh, make yeah. fun of these scenes now you know because oh, yeah, no, we've, we've all cried the tears for them or like if you haven't read the works you haven't yet but like the majority of of people who are going to be watching this have cried the tears for all these works so rewrite community's already memed on the tree we're all good boys <laughs> oh have they really <laughs> Oh yeah, the tree is a big meme in rewrite. Mm. Like I, I, I literally cannot wait to joke about this stuff. Like even when the sad scenes are happening, I will find bits. Like I will find bits to do on episode. It's gonna be great. I'm really excited. Yeah. The character bios are unhinged. Apparently, Yuichi's the leader of all the protagonists in the school. Why so Yuichi? For, for he was the first. But, 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 but why I, though? I, because he was the first. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, you literally cannot argue against OG. <laughs> I am, but like, what's interesting is so for those who, we need to get back on topic. We're 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 going so unhinged. Yeah. Um, yeah. The setup is there is a key academy where all the key characters are, and it's like this utopia almost, and uh, all chaos ensues because everyone's there. We know that the dark darkness executives appear because we see them in the preview, which will just be funny. <laughs> yes. Like, oh my gosh. I'm, I'm Key Radio Live off topic, unfathomable, almost like we do it every episode. <laughs> oh my word, I cannot wait for remixes of stuff like Mission Impossible, Mission Possible but Difficult Task. Oh my gosh. I didn't even think of that. The music. Are we... Are we getting remixes, or is it going to be- We like... already have remi- 
well, okay, the music's by Visual Arts slash Key. They're doing it in-house, which makes me assume that we're going to be getting something. But is it going to be remixes or just, like, the tracks we, from the original VNs? I mean, they use the one canon remix we got for Pop Sensation, so That's I'm assuming true. they're You're making right. stuff. I mean, Leah's doing the opening. It's a classic key work in the making. Let's yes. be real. Leah's doing the OP. I am just, oh, oh boy. I'm I, Like, I am so hyped. Um, honestly, the studio that's doing this is also really interesting. They, uh, did the, uh, initial D movies, they're light in films, they're a, um, like, they're sort of like a sister to Studio Trigger, in a sense, and the Kyoto studio is doing this. This partnership finds it, makes me think that potentially they could be working on a larger project that I won't call dibs on, but it would be cool if they did a, a certain visual novel adaptation in the future. I will just say that. Oh, so you're saying you want them to do the Harmonia anime? Yeah, sure, we'll go with that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, a Harmonia OVA would actually be pretty good. I, I, think, I think so, Harmonia too. Would... Like, I, I'm memeing right now, but I think it actually would be quite good. No, seriously, I kind of hope that this is successful so Leiden Films takes up a Summer Pockets anime. Yeah, I think that would be amazing. Do a Tomoyo After movie, but only the prologue, so it's literally just Slice of Life fluff to tick off all the Tomoyo After fans. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say, oh, literally just make it just the prologue, so it's basically a hentai. Just... I can't believe it is an age! <laughs> so, as far as character bios are concerned, uh, we have all of them, but, like, one of my favorite is Yohei's. Like, I was, like, we all knew Yohei was going to be playing a part. Like, you cannot have a comedy-centered key thing with Clan Ed involved without Yohei. Like, and well, we seriously. And we do see him in the trailer. Like, <laughs> it almost so looks he, like he's the leader of the Darkness executives. That would be great. Yes. <laughs> um. So, this is his bio. Tomoyo Akazaki's best friend, or so he thinks, a former member of the soccer club. He had let go of his pride. He might have been able to get, um... Uh, Oh, Ryo. Oh, if he had let go of his pride, he might have been able to get a few Bayashi's twin. <laughs> he's usually sloppy, but has integrity at his core. He, but he's still sloppy. <laughs> oh, and a toilet seat cover. That's literally the <laughs> end line. And a toilet seat cover. I love it. It's like the thing is, it's all of that's true. He yeah, totally no, could true. have gotten one of the Fujibayashi twins. This is the Tokyo after we really needed. I mean. I, I, I like it. I, I'm interested. Kotami's bio, a girl genius who specializes in outrange attacks with her violin. Her friends teach her how to make jokes and comedies to strengthen her personality. That is a weird phrasing. I think they mean to, like, strengthen her social skills. That's probably what they're trying to get at. But most of them end up being um, unfruitful. <laughs> she had some thoughts about the smell of, of uh, um, she she thinks about the smell of the bear stuffed animal that had been delivered to her over the years, and she swallowed those words before everyone else. I don't get that last line, but I think it just means uh, she uh, keeps those words close to her heart. Mm -hmm. I'm interested what Foucault's is because I have not read most of these bios. I'm reading off Plan Ed first because I just happen to be on the page. I see. This, yeah. This will. I said this would be a short episode. That was a lie. A girl goes around indiscriminately handing out wooden starfish. She is beginning to feel inadequate if she is not mistaken for a star. <laughs> that takes to Tomoya's skillful training, she is now able to drink fruit juice through her nose. <laughs> Even as an adult, her words and reactions remain childish. <laughs> I love her! <laughs> oh my gosh. I Have you ever... Okay, side note here. Yeah, short episode might be behind. Have you ever actually tried to drink juice through your nose? It's horrible. It's really hard. Like, it is really, really hard. Just... Seriously. All right, so Tomaya Sakagami, um, a girl who became the student council president with the help of various people in order to protect the cherry trees. I'm reading this off like a mid-2000s radio <laughs> show, and you cannot stop me. Thanks to her popularity, she recorded... She has a record of 64 hits in a row against Yohei Sunahara at the school's Founder Festival. She has a talent for breaking out the per uh, the bringing out the perverted side of Tomoyo Kazaki. <laughs> Thanks, Tomoyo. That's a Tomoyo after reference right there. If I don't even one. think so. There are some moments in the original clan ad. Like We all know Rio's. I just read that off earlier. Yeah. Let's uh let's uh watch Kyo. Not watch Kyo. I, I have Kyo's. brain, I swear. <laughs> 
the older sister of Key's first twin character who has unparalleled throwing ability. Her favorite spot is the gym. She has a bit of uh, she's a bit of a slob. Okay, thanks, Deepel. Um, I'm not bothering translating these myself right now. She has a scheming size, cutting off her. Oh, I, this is spoilers. I will not be reading this. Um, this is clan ad spoilers. So we're just gonna move past that. I I I I like. I think my favorite spot for Kyo is also in the gym. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Of course it is, Lichia. There are spoilers. Yeah, rewrite is... I will not be reading off most of rewrites um, in full. I will be hopping around spoilers as much as possible. And in general, that is something to note. We, as far as we can tell, Kaginata will have major spoilers for all six of these works. So... This will be fine. We'll be fine. Yeah. Become true Kaginato fan and just become a key fan. Easy. Yeah. Imagine someone with no context going into Kaginato without any knowledge of key. That would be, like, the funniest way to get introduced to key. I th- I low-key think it would be really, really fun. Yeah. Kaginato is endgame early key content. Key just went consume our stuff now. <laughs> Uh, this one is for Nagisa, the solo actress who belongs to the theater club. Her first stage performance at first read lead role was also a solo. She thinks that she is a bit being too reckless, but she never is. So recently she has been wondering whether uh, dangos in her big family are made of grainy or sweet red bean paste. She sometimes suddenly starts shouting on the slope below her school. Oh my word. What a drama queen. Do you like this school? Do you like this school? <laughs> uh, Falcon Ted, w- apparently one of us just used the phrase low-key, and s- no one is laughing at that. Uh, because it was a pun not intended, honestly. Yeah. And also I say it a lot. Uh... I say it a lot, too. That's why I don't even know which one of us it was. Toma is. Although he is a delinquent, he has captivated many heroines with the gap of his sincere face and his real f- um, down-to-earth demeanor, I guess. Because it says real face, but that is definitely not what it's saying. Uh, he also is known as the Harem King. <laughs> what? By who? Oh by, by, who? by literally who? Like, <laughs> Clanad is the least harem of all of these, I would say. Tomaya being a Harem King, I cannot. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. This is amazing. Oh, I'm so excited. I love I love 2021 so much. You know. His loyalty sometimes extends to his best friend, Yohei Sunahara, but he is more single-minded than any of the heroes and has even experienced redacted. I will uh Yeah. I, it's I, that is it's spoiler. the thing. If you if you you know if you know you know for Clanad people. Um, but here's the thing, Bill. In Kaginato, he, Bill Bill Nye, one of the members here at the server, said, "We're uh, mad that Yohei didn't get a route where he gets every girl." That's what he's shooting for in Kaginato. Let's root for him. <laughs> I mean, it it it's it it could happen. All right, Yukito from Air. Oh, it's nice that we get to see Sora in the little chibi. That's adorable. <laughs> I love it. Um, an unemployed, self-proclaimed street performer with no fixed address. He has already reached adulthood, but appears at the school as if he misses something. He is always short of money and sometimes collapses. His specialties are puppet manipulation by magic and transforming into a... Beep! Gotta keep these spoilers out. <laughs> Wait, so he can transfer... He could do it freely. Can he do it freely? Wait, this is canon info? Yo, Yukito just became one of the most powerful key protagonists. Oh my... <laughs> Let's go. We're literally getting all the unanswered key lore. I cannot. <laughs> Amazing. I am so happy. We're just going to get added lore, and it's going to be great. Yes, I like, yes, I'm... yes. The original lonely girl from the seaside town, she seems to be trying hard to make friends, but her efforts have not been successful. Poor Misuzu. Can we all get an F in the chat for Misuzu? <laughs> F. <laughs> it's actually just... working. <laughs> Gal. <laughs> oh no, not the Gao emote. <laughs> Can we get a Gao in the chat for me, Susu? 
<laughs> this gal, gal. <laughs> Please, I I want to see all the gal. <laughs> Oh god. I'm going to go back to this later and forget the context. Oh lord. All right. Um she is a good girl who helps her mother at the beach house uh at the house of the Camio name uh the beach house Camio on her days off. However, she is uh when she sees an opening, she wants to score a goal. She is a troublesome child. Oof. When she don't, sees don't an opening, her... she wants to score a goal. <gasps> score. <laughs> <laughs> I I was not the one who said it. I am just the messenger. I know, but I th- th- uh, uh, okay. Um, yes. And also for context, Misuzu has a new VA due to the very unfortunate late voice actress of Misuzu being passed away. So we're looking forward and hoping to support the new voice actress in the best way they can because they've got one heck of a role to live Salako up to. Salako Sensei's voice actress from Kaon. So. That's I exciting. have. I hope so. I I hope she does well. I I I hope she does too, and I think she will. I have high hopes. I'm more worried about people hating on her for not being as good as the original more than I am her having a bad performance. Most definitely, I definitely second that. Because I believe in her. She's a very I she's a good actress. Too. She's very good. Yes. Kano, a girl whose trademark is a yellow, large yellow bandana wrapped around her wrist. She believes in her sister's words that she can use magic if she grows up without taking off her bandana. Perhaps because she th- believes this, people around her sometimes look at her uh, lukewarmly. Hey, no, no, no Kano hate up in here. Come on, man. You, you could not like, like a character. Kano. But let's not, let, let's not crap on her. She's just doing her best. She's just doing her best. There's something there. Like, I don't know. Like, she is not my favorite heroine from Air, by the way. I think she's she's okay. Like, she's pretty good. I, she's probably I'd say my second she's favorite. third best girl in Air. Like, I, She's my second favorite, but, like, I get why people don't like her. I just don't want unfounded, like, hate streams. She gets enough of that because of her route. And her route's... Her route's good, too. I'm sorry. Like... I like her route. I do yeah. think it's fine. It's just... Whack. Um, you're allowed to share your opinion on Kano. I do not care if you say that you don't like her. I just don't want to be able to... I, I just didn't want a hate stream to start. <laughs> like, literally, you can say that you don't like her. It's fine. I, I'll go on record and say I hate Kanata. It's fine. Like, I cannot... I, I And I'll go on record and say I love Kanata. Just... <laughs> So, yeah. Probably just wanna... probably the character w- that you and I disagree on the most. <laughs> probably, but, like, it's okay to say you don't like a character, but, like, obviously, don't start an unnecessary hate stream. This yeah. is a PSA for anyone listening to the podcast. Just, hey, it's okay. Character is best character, like Furbis said. <laughs> yes, every character is the best character if you like them enough. Let's all be real. Best character is whoever you like it. Mm-hmm. I don't know why they're describing Minagi as selfish. I'm very huh? confused. Oh, selfless. Oh, yeah, there you go. All right. So uh, Minagi is a selfless woman who walks around holding out rice coupons. Her soft-spoken voice lures lures a listener to sl- lulls a listener to sleep, or at least calms the mind. Despite her excellent grades and good looks, she doesn't have many friends of her own age because she spends most of her time with a rat, I mean Michiru, who is younger than her. Um, what was that? Was that a Kitaro edition? Oh yeah, one hundred percent. On to canon. I I I like Michiru. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I think she's funny. I think she is the best looking sprite in Air, like or Bro, at what? the very least the most expressive and varied. I said I brat, by the way, not rat. <laughs> I said brat. Everyone. <laughs> Took it as a rat. I said brat. I heard rat. Like, <laughs> oh my word! I said brat. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I said brat. I would never call him. <laughs> Good job. You done messed up. Order Potato is, is a better hearing. character than Michiru. Um, I yes. um um. It, it, uh, it, uh, uh, Potato is literally like. An air deity. You cannot fight him. He will smite you with the power of a thousand gals. If if I say the wrong thing right now, you will 
destroy my audio for this podcast and replace everything I say with pico pico. So I'm gonna refrain. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that anyways. What? Luchina. Why? <laughs> <laughs> pico. I already got the sound effect too. I'll just cut your pico pico. Like oh. I will, I will literally oh. <laughs> randomly put oh. it in. <laughs> oh, 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 okay, okay. Um, uh, but 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 don't please. <laughs> pico pico beep. Zinzin dame zan ikak. Pico pico. All right, so. Uh, we're going with Yuichi now, the first protagonist of Key and the most unpredictable man. There are there were five victims, but it seems that there will be more. What <laughs> <laughs> victims? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay. Aside, <laughs> with the exception of one, he did do some pretty nasty things to those girls seven years ago. <laughs> the heck, like the victim. <laughs> <laughs> they make you eat, she said, like a serial killer. It's, it's, I know it's not the nicest way to say it, but I get it. You eat, she's over here, like. Kenno, so I moment. Have... Oh, oh, let's, Furbis, bro. No. Why? No, I, I, I own that VN physically, by the way. It's, it's horrifying. I imagine you eat, she just over here, like, all right. I have all the protagonists under my grip. And now I can take my victims. Hi. Ugh. Don't don't use Just... don't use the slight smile emoji. Oh god, the slight smile emoji. <laughs> Horror. That is Yuichi embodied. Yeah. Hello. Oh. Oh. Yandere Hello. Let's go. Oh no. Yandere Nayuki already exists. Let's not go Yuichi. Yeah. Yeah. Na- Nayuki over here like we're going to stay together. Forever and ever. Oh my god. Why would- An actual why? line. Wh- why? Why? I love Nayuki too. She's my favorite- She's my favorite canon heroine outside of Shiori, so. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Um, there were five victims, but it seems there will be more. He is basically a neutralist. They literally just called him chaotic neutral. Wow. But his, uh, brusque behavior can cause trouble. He's also the leader of the protagonists. Why why Yuichi and not Kotaro? Like, Kotaro has that leader quality. Yuichi's just a doofus. Because Yuichi's the first, and all the protagonists are doofuses when we get down to it. Let's all be real. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to say you're wrong, but like, I don't know. I just, I, I guess I think all four of the others are better than Yuichi, but, you know. I mean, I think me. that's also universally agreed. But, like, it's also, like, he's the OG. Come on, man. It's just, like, one of those things where it's like, yeah, it makes sense. Okay, uh, I use is funny. The habitual Tayaki thief from a town where it snows. Apparently, she wanted by she wanted, she, uh, ran by Tayaki shops all over Japan. Her habit is to say, Ugu. I love it. Um, Ugu. I'm gonna, Ugu. There you go. Oh. Cut that out, oh, God. please. But, but now that I've said that, you're going to like cut it and put it just in a random spot that where it really I'm gonna doesn't add belong. An echo effect. I'm going to add an echo effect to it. Agoo! <laughs> oh my God, no, no, no. <laughs> Stop giving me ideas. I, it's just, I, I started it, you know? It's... Put it at the very start. Yeah, this will be the podcast intro. Just Agoo! you going... <laughs> God, Luchi. How many drinks did you have before podcast? Only one. That's the weird thing. <laughs> like, <laughs> all right. Oh my word! Everyone's leaving the chat after that. I'm oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Why are people leaving? It's uh, no fun. Yeah. D- all right. S- scared icy off real good. Was icy in the chat? Uh, he wasn't in the chat, but he was in. He was on the stage. Oof. Rest yeah. in peace, Icy. Yeah. Uh, d- DM, him, uh, DM him right quick and be like, we're sorry we scared you off with our chaos. Oh, I'll just, or I could just DM him Ugu. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, a girl that. who a girl who lives with Yuichi Aizawa, she left him alone in the snow for two hours when he, uh, she met him after seven years of him being gone because she had a grudge against him for waiting for her when she was a child. 
Of course, she never told him about the dangerous jam that her mother made. Yes, Akiko Jam, Akiko Jam. Oh my god. We, uh, I think it was Man Pig saying before we're gonna get to see Akiko Jam and Sanai Bread together. Akiko um, Jam on Sanai Bread will cause a nuclear explosion that will destroy all of the population but of here's Key the University. Thing that, that I had forgotten about until I read that. If we see that and we had dang well better see it, it actually won't be the first time because in Yukine's arc of After Story, we saw it. Oh. Like, the the with the hyper rainbow bread, the one that knocks out all the delinquents and then somehow we randomly get a top 10 anime fight with Tomiya and the one random gang leader. Like... Epical. <laughs> All right, all right. So we're on to Mai. Can I just put Mai's as... Mm. I am Mai. Mm. I, Mai doesn't say a lot, so I'm just like, her bio should literally just be... Mm. She's so cute, though. Uh, We need Angela on here to spam Mai, my beloved. <laughs> <laughs> Truth. I think he might have moved on to Harachin, though. <laughs> All right, so here we go. A girl wanders around the school at night claiming to be a demon slayer. She is trespassing because the curse held on the place on her by Yuichi Aizawa. She can only say honey bear and pompous raccoon. She is quiet as long <laughs> as she is fed beef bowl. Okay, Shiori time. A girl who starts counting down the days until her next birthday. She used to be avoided by her older sister, but now they are obstinately reconciled. Her favorite food is ice cream. No matter how cold it gets, she never stops eating it. Well, maybe she can't stop. <laughs> they literally just called her an ice cream addict. I mean, are they wrong, though? Sherry over here like, I cannot stop eating the ice cream. Please help. Oh. It's a real issue. <laughs> oh, no. I. But... That is what caused um, her health problems. <laughs> I'm kidding. There's a legitimate kind... theory about that. Oh, no. There's actually a legitimate theory. I have to find it again. But, like, there is someone who basically said that Shiori's constant ice cream eating is the cause of what's going on with her. But... Jump, 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 jump. Too much ice cream. Munch, 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 munch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, time for worst girl. But still, we have to represent her. Makoto. And by the way, I say worst girl, but Makoto's got a good route. Like, seriously, like, don't take take my words with a grain of salt. I'm over here just like... I, she, she's just, actually fine. Just because I say that she's bad does not mean she's bad. She's just not my type of character. She's not my type in general, but she's not my type of character. I legit warmed up to her, which is weird because I used to hate her guts. I mean, I, I warmed up to her, too. I like, like her after every, my reread. I like her in every version of canon, minus the visual novel. Even in the visual novel, I've warmed up to her. All right. The girl who was Yuichi's biggest victim, and the one he had the deepest affection for. In the past, she was brought into the... the I'm not about to read off the Nayuki... The Nayuki's family as a... Pico Pico! Uh, oh, that is... That is major canon spoilers. We're just gonna, we're just gonna skip screw. skip Makoto. Uh, as a pico pico, I'm gonna bleep a lot of this out. No matter how bad a mood she was in, she would always solve it by sh uh, shoving a meat bun down her throat. Um, under the influence of manga, she has a desire to get married. Okay, wow. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm I'm glad that no one here hasn't finished canon. So like, we're good. Yeah true or at least the anime all right time for the longest one little busters lit bus let's go lit little busters um all right irby uh irby i was about to say Riki. wait what <laughs> i called Riki irby <laughs> Where do you get- what are you doing? Because <laughs> <laughs> I read he pretends to be an herbivore by the horrid Google Translate. Oh, right, right, right. Riki is <laughs> <Sir, me. laughs> 
<laughs> oh man, what is even happening right now? Furbus, I need you to edit the weed leaves on top of Riki's hair. <laughs> <laughs> please, please do that. Some bios have big spoilers. Yes. Yes. All right. Especially so in rewrite, but a couple in canon as well. I don't get this. It says he pretends to be an herbivore, but he's one of Key's most carnivorous men. <laughs> <laughs> I what? guess carnivorous is like perverted. I don't know. I have no clue. That's all I can think of. Like, oh, they're s- they're saying that he has the most ladies. Yeah. Okay. By <laughs> by being a trap, he is able to confuse even men's minds. <laughs> Sorry. It's just a superficial line. He has doubts about how a fictional world <laughs> could be created. Oh my god, I love this. Yeah, it is amazing. They pretty real. much took they pretty much took all of the meme aspects of Riki and went he is a character. <laughs> oh my word, Kotami hopped in to say a uh, dad joke. I am Oh Kotami's on the podcast. Amazing. Awesome. Nice to see you. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, a pure, a pure cat girl who doesn't, uh, who doesn't know patience and doesn't hide what she thinks. She only pines for her childhood friend, Riki, but only when no one is looking. She has grown from a no-con girl to a girl who can throw a magical pitch. She hates the fact that her older brother won the top popularity vote in the contest. <laughs> they referenced the vote. They referenced the frickin' 20th anniversary poll. Are you kidding me? That is amazing. Uh, next up is Kyosuke. Ooh. Oh, uh, before we do that, Platy says fourth wall break. I'm expecting a lot of fourth wall breaks. Kyosuke over here like, I am the best because I won that popularity contest. No one else did. I won. And the My thing tears is, he won. won in a franchise that's about the girls. Yeah, like, seriously. It, I find that so weird, which is just amazing. Makes me very smiley. The Little Busters are fantastic, though, so really it's not a shock. The man who won first place in the key general election, beating out all of the other heroines. His result shakes the significance of key romance games, and at the same time all the heroines look at him with hatred. Oh my word, they literally are holding a grudge against him. Because. <laughs> <laughs> I love that they did that so much. That is funny. They literally went, this literally basically goes, uh, yeah, so she's, uh, this is pretty much going, yo, so you know the key romance games? Yeah, they're kind of irrelevant when you think about it. We don't know that the heroines even won. <laughs> I love it. Um, however, he doesn't care about such things that he has doubts about the, uh, redacted that has been created just by wishing for it. Masato... All right. He is the first person in charge of muscle and guilty of bringing the tradition of muscle to key. His So they're literally talking about like all of their initial trends that they created pretty much. I am so happy about this. Like think about it. They're literally are like becoming self-aware about the trends that these characters brought about and it's kind of great. Like I'm super excited for this. Same. There's a lot of in jokes and it's just really exciting. Like you can tell. Um his words and actions are like a child's, but uh, um but occasional words that get from the heart of the matter are unique. He dotes on Riki but doesn't seem to be interested in uh uh trap Riki. He believes that he can create a <laughs> fictional world by training his muscles. Interesting. Are we going to get muscle sensation 2.0? <gasps> Ooh. I would love Please. I would love Muscle Sensation 2.0. That would be amazing. I'd be so happy. All right. Kengo. Best boy. Um well, we had Masato already, so I think you misspoke. Oh. Or misheard. Okay. Mm. He is devoted to Kendo, and you would think that he would be um a serious and reliable childhood friend, but in fact, he is the most mischievous one. If you leave him alone, he will try to play with you forever. What? Kengo? Oh! Oh! Y- Yonder a Kengo? What? I can see it, too. 
like the pa- redacted part of Little Busters. Um, yeah, we do have some people in here who have not finished it. I know, so yes, redacting is is a good idea. Um, he doesn't admit that redacted was their uh, playground. Wow, this is whew. yeah. Little Busters has a ton of direct spoilers, like, goodness. Yeah, and rewrite is even worse, so. I cannot wait. A fairy tale girl who wants to make everyone happy. She has a habit of trying to make people she dates into... Oh, this is a route spoiler, I'm not gonna say it. Um, uh... Her favorite places are the rooftop of the school, which is off-limits to the public, her co- she coordinates her under wear to match her Swedes and targets Riki with a simultaneous attack of appetite. What's the word? I, we'll, we'll go I don't lust. even know what word you're trying to say. But we'll say lust. Oh, that's PG. You can say that on the podcast. The word they said <laughs> was very different. Oh, 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 you're right. Yeah, I remember now. Okay. She is the main mischievous girl of the Little Busters with a variety of pranks from marbles to mustard gas. Now, this is ridiculous. What is Haruchin doing with mustard gas? I have ideas. I, I do too, and I'm scared of them. Never question the ways of Haruchin. For real, like that's basically what we have to say about that. Technically, because Key Academy is taking place in another world separate from the rest of the Key Worlds, it can't be a war crime. <laughs> True. She always comes from another class to visit uh, Naoki in his classroom. She only accepts lemon-flavored kisses from her boyfriend. That's cute. That is really cute. See, Ricky is a better, like, harem master than whoever else you said, Tomoya. I don't know how Tomaya was the harem king, honestly. Yeah, like... <laughs> Wafu! She is a representative of the, uh, parentheses, 21 heroines in key. She has not yet given up hope on the growth of her chest. Recently, she has made her debut on the silver screen. They're gonna reference the Kood Wafter boot. Are they literally going to have the key characters acknowledge the fact that they are in stories? That would be some meta stuff. I would not be shocked, you know, considering Yumemi is narrating this. I I would not be shocked at all if that, that happened. That is wild. That is just wild. I mean, considering the whole Kyosuke thing winning the character poll and the girls are friggin' jealous of him, you know, I think fourth wall breaks are going to be commonplace here. I cannot wait. Like, actually satirical key. Uh, why are they describing Kurigaya as a sissy girl? I don't even know what that means. I think it's, it's like, older sister. Like, sisterly. Oh, Onechan. Yeah, like, sisterly is what I think they mean, and it's just, you know, machine translation sucks buns. So She is a very... Anago, Anago. <laughs> She is very, um, we'll go motherly, who lives for loving, um, cute things. Um, this includes, of course, uh, Riki. She has a lot high level of fighting ability and is skilled with imitation swords and machine guns. She also has a maiden side that keeps playing the piano and waiting for her future husband. She is capable of instantaneous music movement without, um, speeds or tricks. And last but not least, her little busters. Mio Nishijono. I wonder if we're gonna see another me character uh, from Little Busters that I can't name. Yeah, I I bet she will make an appearance. All right, a girl who makes it her mission to observe the excessive friendship between boys um, from under a parasol. She is more excited than anyone else about this project, which will include. Um, all of the key protagonists. She is sure to complete her fantasy without even knowing it. Oh. Wait a minute. BL time? BL time. Okay, I'm excited now. <laughs> On to rewrite. He is a hero who pico pico and pico pico. But he doesn't want to leave a record for his existence. So he stays in the shadows. He has a. Ooku. Um, and. Pico. His. Uh. 
<laughs> abilities <laughs> and is the most uh, shonen manga like protagonist and is unusually vicarious for a key protagonist, but tears up at um, but tears up um, at all ages. He is in Alaska. He's in Alaska. <laughs> I don't know. It says Alaska. I don't know. Hey, uh, Kitaro, I have a suggestion here. What? Um, for your bleeping, you gotta use potato noises. Yeah, pico pico. There's my. <laughs> Actually, wait, I can do it in Elmo. Pico, pico! Oh there my go. god, why? I mean, it's amazing, so don't stop, please, but... <laughs> the girl who was convinced that she was the main... <laughs> oh my god, that's Coterie's! The girl was convinced that she was the main heroine! <laughs> She's on the cover! She's literally on the cover! <laughs> Like, I cannot believe she was it. the cover girl, but not the main heroine. Like, <laughs> that is so mean. It is, but you know, uh, Lucia Ugu versus Kitaro Pico Pico. My Ugu is just cringe, okay? Keats Pico Pico is actually quite interesting. Pico Pico. Um, because she's in the center of the key visual. <laughs> It is so mean. She's yeah. being killed. I literally cannot read this. I'm going to read this line with censorship. She has a pico pico side that brings out to bring wafu back and, Ugu. and pico, Ugu. pico pico. Um, no offense intended. Uh, she's just a little lonely. God, she's literally getting burnt alive. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> Like, I cannot read- the rewrite ones are literally so spoiler-heavy, it's not even funny anymore. But I have to keep reading. Yeah, we only got four more till we've read them all. Oh no, five more. The heroine who lost the spotlight to Sakiya! <laughs> they acknowledge it! Oh, Chichan, it? yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they literally acknowledge it. They went- Sakuya no. is more popular than Chihaya. That's just- the way it is. And, like, the thing is, I love Chihaya, but I get it. Sakuya's better. The it's... heroine who lost the spotlight to Sakuya. What is Chihaya's route? She even wonders herself. Cherry Blossom Pants is a divine realm which no one but Tennoji Kotaro has been able to confirm. <laughs> She's once rolled from Okinawa to Siberia in Chihaya rolling. <laughs> <laughs> that is a, that is the sickless engine tech demo. They are referencing everything here. A um a witch who controls the academy from behind the scenes. As soon as she loses protection of power, she becomes a piece of crap. God, Akane's is brutal to her too. She seems to have been lost. Um, she seems to have been uh, bleeped a lot when she was a child. Um, don't take that out of context. I just there's a, there's a lot of stuff about this that is <laughs> rewrite spoilers. Yes. <laughs> um, for some reason, she has been put in charge of rewrite's uh, Opai route. It is hated by Lucia and is hated by Lucia Konohana, who has a bigger chest. Yes, the, of course. Bigger, was this. bigger and better. Except they're chibis. They all have flat chests. Like. I love these descriptions of rewrite because it just makes rewrite out like they know that rewrite is ridiculous at times. Oh, yeah. And intentionally so. A superhuman girl who fights for the future of humanity and salary. Amazing. Oh, I love Shizuru so much. <laughs> she thought she could hide a blank behind her eye patch, but it was not so. That's a spoiler. There's a power. Oh, Okay. Okay, yeah, fair. Here we go, Lucia Konohana. Oh boy. I don't like this one, but I also think it's really funny. A girl who creates her own mis- Oh. Wow. She's presumed to be a dependent heroine with a yandere temperament and rewrite. Um, what? Yandere Lucia is is wrong on every level. You but, like Happy Sugar Life. I don't want to hear But 10 it. out of 10 would still snuggle, so it's okay. Like- <laughs> she has the, um, she has an identity that allows her to effortlessly eat extremely spicy um, mapo tofu, um, but does not, but not as much as some characters. Oh, they're literally referencing Kanade. Okay. Yeah, and that that's why I don't like it, but it's okay. 
Last but not least, we have Kagari's, which is very complex. It is just... Because that's all it is, is a box. Oh. oh, really? That's it? That's all the Kagari's. And we have one more, technically. Because Hoshi no Yumemi has one. Oh, nice. So we will read off Hoshi no Yumemi, because she deserves one. Mm-hmm. Narrator, save the best for last. Save literally one of the best. She is a commentator for Kaginado, the planetarium that has come through time. She delivers this work with Jenna, who is magically remodeled. Of course, she, Jenna's not wearing any clothes. Okay. I was, like, very confused. I was like, who's the subject matter? It's Jenna. I was like... It was very confusing for a second. I mean, technically, Yumemi doesn't really wear clothes either. They're not clothes. They're, like part of her body what is Ooh. a robot's body men pick has clarified i will still go with the headcanon that uh, you made me gets embarrassed by the fact that jenna does not have a shirt on oh okay <laughs> since that is just it, it it's funny yeah it's so really that's funny that's all the character bios and uh we literally made our longest episode yet with that uh not not our longest, but up there, like third longest or something. It's wild. We've had a couple of two hour episodes. The the um specifically the KRL one went on forever. Like <laughs> which one? Key, uh, not the KRL, the KSL one. Oh yeah, well that was because it was a tier list. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, look forward to Kaginato. We got a lot to look forward to. This is looking absolutely bonkers. Please tune in. Make it a success and make Key add Summer Pockets to it because I really want self-aware Awanumi. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh my god. Yes, please. <laughs> that, that was supposed to end the episode there. Okay. Oh, okay. Ugu. <laughs> Bye. Uh <laughs>